Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel. In this video tutorial, we will learn to create Wiremock JSON stub which will match incoming HTTP request with the help of URL and return the response. We already know from previous videos in this Wiremock playlist that HTTP is a configuration which matches the incoming HTTP request using multiple criteria and return response. We can match request using URL, headers, request body etc. In this video tutorial, we will focus on URL matching stubs. So let me create a basic JSON file first. We already know that we need to create the JSON file in the mappings folder. So let me copy this path and open notepad plus plus or any editor and file save as paste the path and you can give any name here. So let me give URL matching and make sure the extension or the type of the file should be JSON. Click on save. So let's create a very simple JSON stub. So use the curly braces and I'm going to use the mappings key because I want to add multiple JSON objects. This mappings will hold a JSON array. Inside the JSON array, I am going to have multiple JSON objects. And let me open this file into IntelliJ so that I can have the better formatting. So in the first JSON object, I'm going to define the request. I will say that if the method is get URL equal to student slash one, then return with the response with the status 200 headers content type application slash json and a json body which will simply return the student id so very simple json stuff so it's time to start the wiremock server so i'm going to the folder where i have downloaded the wiremock server so let me open the command prompt here and use java hyphen jar and give the file name you can see wiremock server is up i'm going to postman and uh, use the mock server url which will be my local host so use local host colon 8080 these concepts i have already covered in my previous video and use student and then use the id one and let me append the http as well so if i hit this request i am going to get the mock response which is student of one because when this wire mock server will receive this incoming http request it will try to match with the stuffs we have in my mappings folder and you will see that okay this is a get request and url is matching so it is returning the student one now if i use student slash two then it is not going to return any response because we have no stub configuration for student slash two that's why in the console you can see request were not matched get is matching but the we have stub which is the closest one student slash one but here we are passing student slash 2. So it's saying that URL does not match. So we don't get the response. So what is the solution now? Simple solution we have. Go to your JSON file and copy this stub paste after putting the comma. And here instead of student slash 1, put the student slash 2 and pass the student ID as 2. Save the JSON file and restart your Wiremock server. And if you hit the request, this time we are going to get the student ID equal to 2 as a response because we have the matching stub now so this is not the good way if we have hundreds of student ids so we cannot create hundred stubs like this we should have a better way so instead of creating the url with the hard-coded numbers we can use regular expressions so here instead of one or two i'm going to use parenthesis and use the square bracket and put zero to nine it means that any number between zero and nine i'm going to return you this student id equal to one so don't bother about the response as of now we are focusing on the request url matching whenever we are using the regular expression in the url so we cannot use the url keyword here i need to use url pattern save this json file and restart the mock server go to postman hit the student slash one we are going to get the response hit the student slash nine we are going to get the response but if i hit student slash 10 it is going to give the error like request for not match because we are expecting any number between 0 to 9 and here we are passing 10 so how can we handle two digits number so in the regular expression this represents one number between 0 to 9 so i can use again one square bracket and put 0 to 9 so here i can pass the two digits number now let me save and restart the mock server and if you hit the api with the student slash 10 i am going to get the response but same problem if i pass three digits number like one two three then i am not going to get any response because we don't have the matching stub so again here you can keep adding 0 to 9 in a square bracket but that is not the solution again so if you want for any student id we should get the response so instead of mentioning this again i am going to use a quantifier called asterisk so this asterisk in regular expression will match zero or more occurrences of the 
preceding character. That means it will work for 0, it will work for 10, 123, 1000 or 1 lakh. For all the numbers it will work. Let me save and restart the server and pass any number it is going to return you the response. Instead of 0 and 9, we can use slash d as well. Since I need to escape, so I need to use two slashes and use the d. Let me save and restart the server and if you hit the API, we are going to get the response. Suppose you want any digit with two cats, then instead of start, you can use the curly braces and put the number. It will match any two digits number like 10, 99, 71 but not 100 because that is three digits. So let me save, restart the server. So if I hit student slash 1, 2, it is going to return me the response. Here I am going to get the error. Let's see why. So if you see the Wiremark console, can you figure out the error? We are using slash d and then we have space. Then we are passing the number of occurrences. Here we are using 1, 2. So it is expecting 1, then space, then another one. That's why it is not matching. So go to IntelliJ and remove this white space. Make sure that you are writing the correct regex because any character will be considered as part of that table expression. So let me save this JSON file and let me restart the server. And hopefully if I hit the API now, I am going to get the response. Yeah, we are getting. So we are putting that any two characters number. So if I use 120, then it is not going to return the response, which is expected. Now, suppose you want to have the URL pattern that a number might be one digit also, two digits also or three digits also, but it should not be more than three digits. In the curly braces, instead of using one number, we can use one comma three. It says that any number with minimum one character and maximum three characters will match this stuff. So let me save and restart the server. And if I go to the post pen and hit the student slash 120, it is going to return me the response. Let's try student slash 1. Then also it is going to return the response. Use 1, 2. Then also it is going to return the response. But if I use 1, 2, 3, 4, which is 4 characters, it is not going to return the response. Or suppose you want to return this response for some specific student ID. So instead of creating multiple JSON object with the student IDs, we can use the or operator. That means within the parenthesis, use numbers like 10, use the pipe symbol 1020, use the pipe symbol 30. You can add as many as numbers you want. So this URL will match for student added 10, 20 or 30, but not 21 or 31 or any other numbers. So let me restart the server. And if I hit 10, then it's going to return me the response. But if I hit 11, it will not return me the response. Let me give you one more example. Suppose you want to restrict the range like between 1 to 12, you want to return this response. Then here we can have maximum two characters and minimum one character. So to represent the one character, I'm going to use the square bracket with 0 to 9. Or let me put 1 to 9. So it will satisfy from 1 to 9. And if I get any request with this number, I am going to get the response. But I want from 1 to 12. So I'm going to use the pipe symbol. And here I will fix the number 1 and I'll use the square bracket. And here I'm going to use 0 to 2. So we can have only three numbers like 0, 1 and 2. So we might have 1, 0, 1, 1 or 1, 2. So this regular expression will support any student ID ranging from 1 to 12. Let me save and restart the server. And if you hit the student slash 11, then we are going to get the response. For the 12 also, we are going to get the response, but not for 13 because it is outside of a stop configuration. If you use student slash 1, then also it is going to return you the response. So suppose you have the API which face the student details based on the name. Instead of 1 to 9, use A to G in the square bracket and use the star so that it will match any number of characters. Let me restart the server. We need to restart the server after changing stuff so that it can load those stuff configuration. Go to Postman, hit student slash A. It is going to return you the response. Use any character here, it is going to return you the response. But if I use number, then it will not match. So in the URL, we can pass query params as well. So if I add any query like name and pass some value, and if I hit this request, do you think it is going to return me the response? Let me hit the send button. You can see it is not returning any response. And if I remove this query panel, then it is returning. What is happening actually? So let me select it and hit again so that I can see in the Firemock console. So you can see it is expecting a URL in this format. And here it is saying regular expression because you are using the URL pattern. But we are passing the URL in this way. And it has query param 
we have not told about the query param in my stub configuration that's why it is not matching so if you want to ignore that query matching validation then in the json stub instead of url pattern you can use url path pattern in this keyword it will not try to match with the query param it will just try to match with the url path let me restart the server and if you hit this api we are going to get the response because this time it will ignore the query param so it will not worry if you are passing the query param or not so if i deselect the query param and hit the request it then also it is going to return me the response but we can use query params also to match with the request use the url path pattern to just match the url path and then we can use the query param conditional as well so use query parameters please understand these keywords are fixed if you change it it will not work so to match with the query parameters we need to use this query parameters key and this query parameters key will hold a json object so if we have any query parameter with the name name because that parameter name i am using here or let me change instead of name i am going to use class and if this class value equal to amod then i am going to return this response let me save and restart the server and let me pass the query param class and values amod and if i hit the request i am going to get the response if i pass amod 1 then it is not going to return me the response if i don't pass this query param then also we are not going to get the response because it is going to match the url path also in the query param as well we can also pass path parameters in the url so suppose i am going to use something like class then class value then student student value so this is called path parameters which will be replaced by the values so if we have any api with the path parameters then we can use the same way in my stub as well like in the url path pattern put this one let me remove the query parameters and all but instead of url path we need to use the different keyword this time and the keyword is url path template because here it is a placeholder let me save this json file and restart the mock server and instead of class value let me put the value like one and student value something like two and if i hit the request i am going to get the value which is not happening so obviously i have made some mistake so let me go to wire mock console and it says that urls must start with a slash so if i see my stub here i am missing the slash that's why it is giving the error so i have fixed it let me start the wire mock server again and if i hit the request this time i should get the response as student id 1 if you want to put any conditions on the path parameters value that also we can achieve for that we have another keyword path parameters earlier we have query parameters here we have path parameters and the format is same it will hold a json object and here we need to give the name which is class value and if this equals to 1 then only it is going to return the student id 1 as a response let me save and restart the server and you can see we are getting the error it says that equal to operand must be a non null string so here i am passing the number 1 so let me put this one into double quotes let me save and restart the server this time it is successful and if i go here and hit the api it is going to return me the response if i change the class value from 1 to 10 then it is not going to return me the response it is giving me some 500 server error. that's fine because it is not matching so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone